Hi everybody, I'm Claire from Rainbow Acrylics. Um, I am so inspired by flowers at the moment. I think because it's spring, flowers are everywhere. Um, one of my flav favourite flowers has to be roses. Uh, we've got quite a few, uh, lots of roses, rose bushes in our front garden. Um, so I'm going to do um, a pour inspired by roses, red roses. Well, that, that's, the, that's the plan. So I'm going to do my Dutch pour bloom flowers. So Dutch pour paint recipe, but with some, cell, some bloom cell activator right in the center. And I'm gonna blow them out with my mouth. I'm gonna create several little roses. Um, and just have fun, see, see what happens, see if they look like roses at the end. Um, so let me show you the colours I've got. These are the colours I'm going to use for the pour. I'm going to do a slightly multicoloured base. I'm going to use white and silver. Um, so Pebio Studio Acrylic Silver and Amsterdam White. For the colours, for the, ro the flowers themselves, I'm going to start with black, so Pearl Black by Dela Rowney. Um, then I've got some bronze by Amsterdam, some Windsor & Newton um, Alizar in crimson, some Pebio Studio Acrylics Iridescent Orange, some um, Iridescent Precious Gold, and then on top I'm going to be using this Dela Rowney Cadmium Red. Um, and then obviously the white cell activator on top. So all of these paints have been mixed with this Flood Fluoratrol. Um, mix two parts Fluoratrol to one part paint to three quarters of a part water, except the iridescent colours, they've got one part water in. And the cell activator is mixed with Australian Fluoratrol, and that's three parts Fluoratrol to one part paint, just with a splash of water. Um, the canvas I'm using, um, I'm all set up ready here, it's a 20 centimetre by 50 centimetre narrow canvas. So my plan will be, I think I'm going to go for six flowers, one, two, three, four, five, six, something like that. that I think that's my plan. Um, so I'm all ready, let's get started. To cover my base, I'm just going to um, pour the colours on. I'm going to do some wiggly lines. And then I'm just going to blow out the colours with my hairdryer. So it will get a, you'll, I'll get a really sort of pretty but subtle um, sort of feathered effect, really. Um, and I find it quite difficult judging how much paint to put on when I'm doing this at the moment. I did a base recently with these colours, white and silver, and also pearl black recently, which was absolutely beautiful, um, but it was quite a dark and quite a distracting background. So this hopefully will just be a bit subtler. So I'm just gonna blow this out. Just not quite enough paint up this end. And actually, because there wasn't enough paint, you can quite clearly see the bands of colour. Whereas this side, you've got these cells and the interactions. So I think, yeah, I've I've put too much paint on in the past, but I think it there, this end, there wasn't enough paint. Let's try again. really happy with that. Um, I, the reason I went over with my hairdryer again was to get a feel for how much paint there was there is on the canvas. If you've got too much paint on here, when I blow the flowers around, um, they, they would just be swallowed up by the colour. Um, they'll just they'll just move too much. If I've got haven't got enough paint, the colours won't move at all. So I need the right amount. So I was just judging and feeling um, how much the paint was flowing with the hairdryer. So it wasn't blowing off over the edge anymore. So I know that there's not, that there's enough paint on here, but it, there's not excessive amount of paint. So I'm just now going around the edges and just dabbing all the edges just to make sure they're all covered. Most of the edges are already covered because by, by using the hairdryer, it naturally just blows the paint over the edge. So I'm just, just dabbing in the little gaps. 
And if I haven't got enough paint, I'm just putting my dipping my finger in the, the pu little puddles of paint that are on the worktop now, and then just dabbing them on. Right, happy so far, Happy, I'm happy with this. So let's get the colours out. I've just made a decision. I've just got the colours out in the order that I want. This is the, the crimson, which is just beautiful, absolutely gorgeous colour. And then this is the cadmium red. And um, I just don't like it. I don't know if it's the lighting in here at the moment, but it just looks quite pink. Um, so I don't know if you would agree, but this is much more red rose like to me than this one. Um, uh, so instead of having two reds, two different reds in the line up here, I'm just going to put the same red in twice. So um, I'll explain as I go what I mean, but the red is going to be within the puddle and then also on top of the puddle. Right, so I'm just going to plan this. So I want to put six roses, I think six. So I don't want to do just a straight line this time. I'm going to do it slightly staggered. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I think I'm just going to have to be brave and just, just go for it. Put the, put the paints on and hope that I get it in the right place. Um, because there'll be nothing in the centre, so it'll just be slightly off centre. Let's just go for it. I'll just do a little drop to start with. Right, how does that look? Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. I'm going to go for slightly more then. I'm using a stir stick to put the paint onto the canvas because I just get so much more control that way than if I'm actually just pouring it on. If I pour it on, I I just don't have as much control. So this way I can make sure that I've got, um, I can put the same amount in each puddle. And then, last but not least, the red again. I guess if I want them to really look like roses, I shouldn't put all the other colours in, but red on its own, I'm just not sure it's going to make a particularly good flower in fluid art. Um, there's obviously a big chance that I'm going to get some pink as well in this because I'm going to be adding the white cell activator now. So just a nice puddle in the centre and I'm just going to do a little bit of extra around it just to try and get some nice lacing. So a nice, nice big puddle in the centre again and then just a little bit extra. Right, colours are down. Let's go for it. So I'm going to blow these by mouth. What I've been doing recently with my flowers is blowing in the four different directions and then the diagonals. So I think I'm just going to stick with that. So I'm sorry, my head's going to get in the way here. and I want them to go over the edge. Right, so far, love that, really happy. Right, so pretty. 
The colours are gorgeous, the flowers are gorgeous. Don't like the composition at the moment, it's, this isn't working because they're all a bit too irregular. These flowers are a bit closer together than these. So I've got some work to do. So I'm going to do a bit of blowing around the edge to try and sort it out. Um, if I can't, I'll add some extra colour, I think. Um, but also you'll notice it, the, this flower goes over the edge here and here. This one goes over. This one goes over. So I need to I need to try and get them all to go over, which is, might be a problem with this one because this one seems miles from the edge at the moment. So let's just do a bit of extra blowing around. I am really quite pleased with this now. It's not perfect, it's far from perfect, but actually, I'm actually quite happy now with the composition. So they all meet, they all touch. There's a bit of a strange bit going on here. I'm just gonna try and to remove some of that lighter gray. There you go, that was quite easily done. So they're not roses, they're not red enough, I don't think, but I love them. They're really, really pretty. The lacing is amazing, absolutely beautiful. Um, and I love this base. It's subtle, but it's detailed. I really like it. So my question now, I think I'm happy with the flowers, the blooms themselves, so do I do anything extra? Um, any twirly bits, twiddly bits, do any little feathery bits on the negative space? I am so pleased with this. Really, really love the colours. Um, so to me, this now looks like little ears of corn. So I think I've gone from roses to a cornfield, really. Um, and actually, maybe these are more like poppies now. Poppies in a cornfield. Um, it, it's exactly what they look like to me. Um, I'm really glad I've added these little bits. Um, let me take you in for a close-up. They are so pretty. They look like little hearts, almost. Um, I, they just add a little bit of detail um, where, yeah, I, and I just think it, it's not too much. I try to make them quite small um, and because that's gold, it's going to sparkle and shimmer. Um, so the blooms themselves, um, you can see the black. The black is quite subtle, which is really good because that was right on the bottom. Um, the lacing is amazing. Absolutely gorgeous. The colours just all blend beautifully. Um, I think if I'm being extra critical, I would say I had too much paint because you can see it's it's welling up a little bit there. So where the, the flowers are touching, it's not maybe as neat as I would like. Um, and maybe the same there. But you've got these wonderful cells and details at the edges just with this gorgeous, gorgeous lacing. It almost looks a bit 3D. It just looks like it's got some depth to it there. I'm really, really pleased. So again, some more lo lovely cells. I would say one of the paints is a slightly different consistency because can you see, I think it might even be the orange. It might be slightly runnier because you get these slightly larger patches of orange. Um, and here, just wow, wow, so, so happy. Great, so I'll be back when it's dry. 
So here's the dry painting. Um, it's dried really well. I was so worried it was going to sag a bit in the middle because there was quite a lot of paint in the middle, but it hasn't. I'm really, really pretty pleased. Um, I love the base. I'm really, really happy with it because it's it's multicolored, it's variegated, but it's it's quite subtle. These little um, bits of corn, the easies of corn, I love, I'm really happy with. And just check out the lacing. So, so pretty. Um, they definitely look like poppies to me, so I'm going to call this painting Poppy Field um, because it's poppies in a field of corn. Um, it's all I can think of when I see it. So pleased with it. Um, let me close and close in there. Just look at the details. Um, and I just love the colours, the golds, the reds, the oranges. Such rich, warm colours. Really pleased with it. Um, I think I would maybe consider hanging it... Um, portrait let me just get it in position instead of landscape it's just not as good to f easy to film that way um, I think it looks quite nice that way um, but um, yeah just really happy let me know what you think and um, please leave me any comments any thoughts you have any ideas you might have um, things that I can do differently to help improve um, I just want to, to learn and try and try and keep trying new things all the time Great, thank you so much for watching. Please give me a thumbs up if you like it. Great, take care. Bye.